Hi, my name is William Willie, and I'm with On My Own. And today we're doing a reading called Choose Kindness. And it's a book about how to be respectful and being kind to people, no matter who they are, and no matter if they have a disability or not, but how to be kind. When you are kind, you make the world a happier place. And it's a safer place. You can be kind to everyone, to, to people who are just like you, and to people who are different than you. It doesn't make any difference if they're in a chair, if they have a disability or not, if they're a stranger, but always being kind. You have an infinite kindness in you. Share it with everyone every day. Share it. Be Understand that it is infinite. It will always be there. It's always a part of you. So always work to be kind. Smiling is a big part about being kind. Smiling makes people feel good. When you meet someone for the first time, don't you feel good when they're smiling? Or the hundredth time, always meet them with a smile. Your smile may be the brightest light in someone's uh, day. So let your kindness shine. Smile whoever, whenever and whoever you can. Always try to smile when you meet somebody. Someone may have a bad day. Maybe they had a bad day at school. Maybe a bad day at home. And you meet them for the first time. You meet them with a smile. You automatically make them feel better. And you make yourself feel better. Have you made someone smile today? Think about that. Have you went out? And when you smiled, did they smile back? A lot of times when we see someone for the first time, if we smile, they'll smile. Have you listened with caring ears and open heart? Have you smiled? And do you listen to somebody? Do you use your ears? That is so important. People want other people to listen to them. When they talk, they want to know that the person there that's listening cares about what they're saying. So look at them, smile, but listen. Listen to what they're saying. It's so important. Have you talked with, with thoughtful and caring words today? And it's so important when we visit with a friend or a stranger, when we meet with them with a smile, that we also try to listen and care about what they're saying and be thoughtful for what they're trying to get across and use words that show that we care. That's so important. Have you shown an understanding of someone's feelings today? A lot of times people wanna know, do you understand what I'm saying? And listening and open heart, you can get a feel, you, you feel what they're trying to say. Have you been respectful today? That is so important. People want to be respected. You like to be respected when you meet someone. Do that in turn. When you meet your grandma, grandparents, father, mother, best friend, treat them with respect when you meet with them. Treat them like you want to be treated. That's the key. Have you helped someone today? Have you gone out of your way to help somebody? It can be as simple as give like, your crayon or pencil to somebody. It can be as big as helping someone cross the street that's in a chair. But have you helped somebody? That's so important being kind. Have you shown love today? You can do that with a smile, a big smile and with your eyes. And they know if you meet them and you smile at them and look them in the eye and you show, show caring, they know that you do care. So every day 
try to meet someone with love and kindness and a smile. Do you think you can choose kindness today? Can you be kind today? Will you choose kindness tomorrow? Is it just one day or should be every day? And kindness forever. We want to work on being kind forever. Make it a part of our normal routine. When we talk to somebody, meet someone for the first time, treat them with respect, treat them with kindness, listen to what they're saying. And you do that, you're choosing kindness And that's what we want to get across today. So no matter if you're disabled or you don't have any disability, just be kind and work towards that and show empathy. You are all unique in the world. In other words, you are special in that there's nobody else like you in the world. So... This coloring book shows that uh, the people on my own and I are really glad you were able to listen to this and hopefully you get something out of it. And if you want, just contact us on my own and we'll send you a coloring book.